video tutorial for Taz McCarthy. This one on 3D modeling and 3D printing and what you need to do to get a 3D file ready for 3D printing. Basically what you're aiming for is for the file to be manifold and what that essentially means is watertight. The 3D printing software that slices up the file has to understand what's the inside, what's the outside and it can't have any holes or anything like that. So examples here this cube is manifold. It's got no holes, it's only got external surfaces and you might think that all of these other objects here look like they're watertight as well but each one of them actually has a different problem and these are common problems with 3D SDL files or files you might make yourself in a CAD program. Um, what we'll be using to check these is the SU Solid plugin. Basically you click on a group and what you're looking for is for it to go purple. That means that it is a solid object as it says here and that is manifold. If we click on this next one, despite it looking alright, it actually has an internal surface. So this pyramid here, around the square base between the two halves, there's actually a surface on the inside. So if I come inside here, you can see that there's that surface there. Basically the computer can't work out that there's two insides and an outside so when it comes to 3D um, slicing ready to print it potentially will get confused so you have two options you can either manually delete the face inside or this is where our plugin comes in handy yellow hit the yellow button up here and it deletes the internal surface and now that one is now manifold as well next type of problem we have. This one is definitely watertight and there's nothing on the inside but you can see that this face has been divided up into several areas by these lines here. Basically we're trying to avoid that where we can. It's not as important as the other ones but uh, see it actually still likes it but you'll find that if you come inside and delete these surfaces it simplifies the shape and the more simplified it is, the better it will slice. So we can see that one is now manifold as well. This last one here has the problem of having a dangling line which is highlighted in red here. We have two options. We can either manually delete the um, line or we can let our plugin do it for us again and then hit the red. Okay, our last type is when we actually have a hole in the file, so let's add one in here. Okay, so we can see that this is not watertight, and when we go to our plugin, it highlights it with green. And on simple holes like this, pressing the green button should work fine, otherwise, you can manually do it. I'll show you both ways. So that's using the plugin. The other way to do it is to draw your own thing and then a lot of the time you can then delete the lines you used to make it. So now if we click this every one of these is manifold and it will be suitable for 3D printing and exporting to STL. Quite often the file that else might have problems and it will probably be a combination of some of those problems you've just seen there you've got a couple of options for fixing them. One, you can either import them into SketchUp or another CAD program and use a plugin like the one we just looked at and go through and fix up all the problems. Another option is to use NetFab Cloud Service which lets you upload the file, you have to put in your email address, it does send you a couple of emails but um, no junk mail apart from that and then it will send you the link to the cleaned up file that generally works most of the time. Sometimes if you've got something really complicated, like this is part of a 3D scan of a 3D printed Yoda bust, you can use software like Mesh Mixer here. And basically we click the inspector button and then it's going to give us a little ball to show us all of the bits that aren't manifold and it's going to try and fix them for us every time we click. So we click on the ball, you can see it filled the hole, there's a little hole here click on that and we can go through and fix them all. If you hit the little plus here, this one's taking a little longer. Basically it's trying to guess by the geometry around it, the shape. 
that hole should go. That's a pretty good effort, that one there. Okay, these purple ones are things that are disconnected, it says. So you can see we have a shard floating out here, not touching anything else. A couple more shards floating out in space. Little one here. The red one, it just says the area is not manifold. And obviously, we can tell very obviously that it's not. One thing to notice here is that we've got a very definite outside in light grey and an inside in red. Now this is very important when you're modelling in SketchUp or as well. Let's artificially recreate the problem when some of the faces are facing inwards and some are facing outwards. So let's edit this one here. If we right click on this and press it, compared to the ones around it you can see that it's a fair bit darker. Now in terms of this plugin, it will still say that it's manifold because there's no holes or anything like that. But when you put it into your favorite slicing software, then you might start to get errors. So if you do see that you have one that's quite a bit darker like that, all you need to do in SketchUp is to right click on a good one and then click Orient Faces and you'll see it switches around all the other ones in the model to face the right direction. So that's a, something that's worth doing whenever you finish modeling something just to be safe.